welcome back to another episode of City Skylines on Turner Mountain. In last episode, we actually built this beautiful looking neighborhood and I think it turned out pretty nicely. So what I also have done, I actually have extended it a little bit. So as you can see, like in the last episode, I actually uh, quit until like this bridge. And now I actually continued after the bridge as well. So we got like a couple of buildings over here. I uh, even extended the railroad over here as well. And then I actually hit an obstacle and it is called... A highway so I don't know what to do with it yet I'm gonna try and figure that out probably in this episode one thing what we also have going on in this little section of the neighborhood is also a little storage area as you can see we got like some garages with some parking spots over here yeah the same goes for even like a little junkyard we've got like a small little junkyard over here as well with like a couple of those um, scrap cars and I think overall like lots and lots of detail as in the rest of the neighborhood as well so yeah like I said in the last episode we built this entire thing and right now I actually have added this entire section to the neighborhood but what I want to do today is actually start off with building some sort of a central area some sort of a central train station in this area between the three highways so that's something we're gonna do via time lapse and I'll see you guys after that.
Welcome to another time-lapse commentary and today what I want to talk about are actually a couple of things First of all what I want to talk about is actually I love the downtown area You will see it in a little bit and I freaking love it. It turned out so great I'm really happy about how a thing turned out and yeah, that's actually one thing what I want to talk about But the other thing actually I want to talk about are upcoming plans So the future plans consist of city skylines and also consist of the new game planet coaster planet coaster has been a roller coaster simulation game like from the makers of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I think. And it's actually really detailed and it's a really fun game to play. I already have played Planet Coaster for a couple of hours and already have recorded a couple of episodes, so that will be up on my channel in a couple of weeks or in the next week probably. So yeah, look out for that as well. Planet Coaster is an awesome game because you cannot build like really big immense cities like you can in City Skylines But what you can do is build up a roller coaster park with lots and lots of details with like on every street corner There's like 10 20 maybe even 30 amounts of detail like from a little clock to like a little uh, Lamp that's uh, showing or like some ambient music. It is just crazy what you can do with it in Planet Coaster There are actually three modes what I can choose from and I'm actually gonna go for one mode and it's called sandbox because you got unlimited money like I have in city skylines and I can actually just go ham on like detailing everything and building everything up there's also a mode called career and yeah they actually need to build up a park and achieve so many visitors or like have that amount of park ratings but I'm not gonna be playing that maybe on live streams if I will live stream this game maybe I'm probably gonna be doing that so also another thing what I want to talk about is actually a series I want to bring back on this channel and it's called Build School. That's right, actually I'm going to bring back Build School. I've got a couple of ideas what I actually want to uh, try out as well. So be on the lookout for that. That will actually be uploaded a little bit later than the Planet Coaster videos because I'm still working on some details. And yeah, so be on the lookout for that when that actually goes live. So I hope you guys enjoyed the short commentary. So what will be happening in the next few weeks is I'm going to be playing Planet Coaster. I'm also going to be bringing back Build School. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I'm going to play some music until the time lapse ends. And I'll see you guys after the time lapse ends. So enjoy the music. <laughs>
And we are back. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse. And what we got going on, this is the first glimpse of the downtown area. And I think it turned out pretty nicely. So as you can see, what we got going on is the centerpiece of this entire thing. That's actually the central station. I will get to that in a minute. But first of all, the downtown area is a little bit elevated. As you can see, the central station is elevated and like a little parts of the downtown area are as well. And what I did to fence it off a bit, like the elevation change, is actually via a key. And what I also did is, because we got a key over here, I actually used like a couple of offices and I placed them really close or actually inside of the key a bit. But it just gives it a really nice effect over here. So we got like the central station in the background and some offices. And we've got like a small little parking lot. So we can you can see like we've got like some parking spot, we've got like some hedges, some trees. And it's really minimalistic, but I think that's just the strength of this entire area. Because it is really minimalistic, it really, yeah, shines in this um, area. Because of the fact that it's like offices and stuff. And yeah, try to keep it minimalistic as possible. So let's move on to the central station itself. This is actually the entire central station. As you can see, we've got like four departure areas. We've got like the central station with like in front of it a nice little uh, square. But you've got like uh, three... Railroads were actually not connected to any um, Yeah, departure area although you can argue that this train track maybe is a Part of the train station because of the fact that people could depart from this area over here that a train is standing over this rail um, Yeah, it could be possible that it's uh, starting to departure, but yeah, I'm not sure about that Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that But yeah moving on to the central station once again the central station is elevated because of the fact that I wanted to have like an elevated central station and because of that I also uh, elevated the downtown area a little bit Let's move on to the square in front of the central station. So as you can see, I actually placed like a square in front of the central station with like a couple of bicycle paths where people can just cycle along and also a statue of a guy riding a horse. And what we also got going on in this uh, square is actually a big fountain with like some small fountains at the ends or at um, the tips of the square. And I think it turned out pretty nicely as you can see we got lots and lots of prop people and even though they're like prop people and they don't move it actually gives this area a feeling of it's busy it's alive and people are using it because if I didn't do that even though there are like lots and lots of people in this city uh, yeah you don't see people walking in the square or like uh, on these sides they're only gonna walk on these roads and yeah that's a shame because of the fact that this is a pretty nice square and I really like it especially with like these crops over here with like a couple of like uh, some small fir trees and lots and lots of uh, flowers I think it turned out pretty nicely so what I also have placed is this grill and a couple of flags and even a couple of seating areas where people can just uh, yeah sit down and drink a cup of coffee or something like that we got some event tent where people can just uh, yeah set up an event or something like that and I think it turned out pretty nicely one thing what I also have placed are like um, close to the central station is lots and lots of parking we got like uh, two parking areas where people can park we even got like three parking areas. I forgot about this one. I will get to that in a little bit. So we got like two parking areas on this side and one on this side. And even like some parking area for your bicycle. So if you're uh, using your bicycle to get everywhere, you can actually just uh, yeah park your bicycle over at this side and uh, enter the central station. So that's a good thing. And then on this side, but also placed down like close to this uh, parking spot is an Ebus hotel. So. I think these hotels are actually really close to like parking lots and train stations and highways and stuff so it's actually a perfect spot for this hotel to be in this place because yeah it's a really cheap hotel I think or motel and yeah you get like uh, a really cheap price but uh, yeah you got like a really shitty uh, location because you're next to like a train station so if you like to sleep in on weekdays or something like that you actually will get um, rudely waked because of the fact that uh, trains are uh, passing by and stuff so yeah that's not something you like but the price is good though so that's a good thing I guess one thing what I also have placed down is actually this uh, Oh man, I'm not gonna pronounce that, but at least it's a tower just to spice it up a bit. And because of the fact that this is the downtown area, I really liked like the high rise a little bit away from the central station. So that's why we got like a couple of high rise buildings over here and all the way over this side. And like the central station itself and the square in front of it got like some uh, medium sized uh, buildings. We got like this um, 
Woodlock Architects, we got like, um, I think this one is the Fuji Center, and we got like an event hall, so these are not as high as like um, some of the buildings in this downtown center. Let's take a closer look at this event hall over here. So this event hall is really close to the central station. So businessmen who come in via the train can actually just walk all the way across. I mean, that's not a terrible walk to do. But one thing what I've placed extra on this uh, event hall is actually this uh, little garage over here. I actually placed one over here because this garage is not available anymore because of the fact that we got like a small um, yeah, tunnel over here that actually goes all the way underneath the square itself and pops up over here again next to this Burger King. And yeah, what also got going on is lots and lots of detail. We got like two Volvo trucks with like uh, markings, with yellow markings where people can park and cannot park. What also have placed really close to the central station is actually this bus stop area. So we got like a nice little bus depot or bus stop area. And it's not that far away from the central station, so that's a good thing. I mean, if you're like uh, using public transport to get everywhere, it's not a bad thing to have like your central bus station really close to like the um, yeah, central station as well. So yeah, that's a good thing. In the downtown area, we've got lots and lots of high rise, as you can see, uh, like except for like the square in front of the central station, there's like medium uh, buildings but on the other hand we got like high density high rise buildings with like lots and lots of offices apartments as you can see i think these are actually apartments and these are as well so we've got a little bit of uh, apartments over here we've got some offices over at this side and then we've got like this uh, commerce bank i think this is a german bank but i'm not sure about that and what we've got going on um actually um not in front of it but in the back side of the commerce bank we've got like a nice little uh yeah park area where people can just uh take a nap or something like that or eat their lunch I don't know if you're taking a nap on one of these benches it could be possible but it's actually a park supposed to be for like these uh, bank employees so when they get off or when they're uh, having lunch hours they can actually go outside and they can actually uh, yeah sit on the benches and eat their lunches and it's all fenced off with like iron fences and I think it just gives it a really nice feeling so what we've got going on are like iron fence key and then a steep drop-off with like uh, some plants and some uh, trees and flowers and then the park itself got lots and lots of benches like I said some flowers some rose bushes even some grass and like uh, some tall trees I think like this is actually the only tall tree there is but still it's just actually a centerpiece of this entire park this big giant oak tree I think uh, yeah that turned out pretty nicely I like it a lot actually so moving on to the rest of the downtown area, we got like, like I said, lots and lots of high rise. We got even like a couple apartment buildings. And what we also got going on are actually the necessary uh, utilities. So we got like a SimCity hospital, I think. This one I downloaded from the Steam Workshop. So this is the SimCity Hospital. I think the SimCity Hospital is a little bit nicer than the City Skylines Hospital because this one got like a little bit more room and a little bit more greenery, bushes, trees and stuff and I really like it. What I also have placed next to the hospital are like the fire department and the police department and in between that little space over here we got like a little practice center and of course we got like a little helo pad area. So this is the practice center where people can uh, learn how to deal with fire and as you can see we've got like a couple of barrels over there and yeah it's also lit on fire so th these people over there need to put that fire out. We've got like two police officers standing by and actually uh, monitoring like if everything goes well. That's why there are like two police stationed, uh, stationed cars over there as well and we've got like if everything goes wrong we've got like a fire department car just in case because fire is really dangerous. One thing what I also have placed down is actually a firehouse over here and it's actually integrated into this fire station because of the fact that this training area otherwise wouldn't be accessible via the, um, yeah, via the um, firehouse or via the fire department area. So yeah, that's uh, that's why I actually placed it down. And what I also have placed down is this fence over here, so nobody from the hospital can actually get into this uh, restricted area because we got like a helicopter over here and we got like a fire department truck and a couple of police cars. So yeah, that's something you don't want people just to get into. So that's why it is fenced off. One thing I want to show you guys is actually these railroads over here. So as you can see, we've got like a couple of railroads and I didn't connect them. I actually gonna do that in between episodes because we need to connect these railroads over here up to these ones. And what I've done is really special. We got like a couple of uh, retaining walls over here. I actually need to um, still make this right. But yeah, that's something also in between episodes. But what I really like about this is we got like a couple of uh, elevated ground once again up until like the um, central station height. 
And what we've got going on are a couple of retaining walls um, on both sides this time. Because in the Bad Neighborhood episode I only did like uh, one side of the train tracks. And what I've done over here are actually two sides. And I think it just gives it a really nice feeling of like a little bit of a um, sunken down railroad or train tracks. And the same goes for here. We've got like two bridges and they're connected up. Let's move on to the final part of this downtown project. What is not done by the way. And that's actually like this small area over here. So in between like the highway and like the elevated uh, area for, with the keys. I still had a little bit of room left. So what I did I actually placed like a couple of office buildings over here. We got like three of them. And I think it turned out pretty nicely. What I also have placed down are is like a road really close to like the highway. And I fenced it off with like some concrete walls and on the roadside I actually placed like a couple of like small trees just to give that a little bit of greenery. So it looks a little bit nicer. But yeah, like I said, I think it turned out pretty nicely. And what I want to do is use every square inch of like this entire city. So that's why I placed like the road really close to like the highway and also placed like lots and lots of office buildings over here. And this road is actually connected up with like these offices over here. So people who want to go to these offices can actually use this off ramp and use this entire road and can go to like this um, office over here, for example. One thing that I haven't talked about is actually the highway over here. So we've got like one highway going across like this downtown area before I start raising it. So what I have done I actually started with like a little bit of a tunnel area. So we got like an entrance and an exit and close to like this tunnels we got lots and lots of greenery, rocks and stuff. And yeah, I think I just spiced it up a little bit because otherwise it's just that plain. So right now it looks a lot better than it with like without the trees and stuff. And we got like one entrance over here and one exit. And the same goes for over at this side as well. We got like one entrance and one exit. This one turned out a little bit better than I expected because like this one got a little bit more greenery and rocks. And especially the placement of the rocks is really important with like these entrances and exits. So these rocks over here are placed a little bit better than the other one because I got a little bit more room to work with. But that's it for me today. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care and goodbye.